Hey guys, welcome back to the Don Drysdale channel. Um, been playing a lot of Titanfall lately, kind of enjoying it, getting a little bit better at it. I had found that I need to hop around to find a good server sometimes, uh, and, this, and that's what everybody's doing. If you'll notice at the end of this game, there's one or two people that have dropped out because the, they're either getting stomped on or uh, they think that their bullets uh, are should be killing somebody, but they're not. And on this gameplay, I do actually pretty damn good, but there's a couple times that I really should have died. That wasn't one of them. <laughs> But that guy missed every shot except for the last one and I got him with most of mine but I, I want to talk about uh, playing this game and claiming that you're really good and I know in no imagination claim that I'm very very good at this game I play it quite a bit and I think that I'm getting a lot better and trying to be a lot better but there is a such thing as uh, I wouldn't say it's host, but uh, I don't know. You might be closer to the server than the people you're playing or something like that because there are several instances in this game where I should have died. And I didn't die one time. I think I died, but the computer says that I didn't. But I don't know. I don't have that great of memory. Well, this time right up here is one that I'm talking about. This guy sitting up on this perch after I kill off a couple of his grunts trying to get my titan there's a guy up here on this perch you see him in the upper right hand corner there when i do my shots but i think i should have died right there but i didn't and that's good for me but bad for this guy but what i really want to point out is this right here coming right up right now he shoots me again three shots and watch this dead he's dead I had to have headshot the guy or something, but I don't understand how he drops that quick from that far away. And maybe I just got him in the head or something. I don't know. I can't read that small print, I guess. But um, there's a couple of real glaring differences in the hit detection. I do good. That guy should have died. All these grinds, fuck them. I mean, it really doesn't matter, but. Uh, I just want, didn't want to be that YouTuber to say that I didn't get gameplays where I thought that I should have uh, should have went 10 and 0 on this, which I do wind up doing 10 and 0, and I think I get like 30 grunt kills and shit like that. But it just seems to me on this particular gameplay that I'm taking a lot less damage, and I don't want to say that I'm not getting better at the game to take less damage, but. I think the game's helping me out a little bit in this game, and a lot of people are just going to say, well, I'm just really, really good, and you really, really suck. Uh, I guess that could be said a little bit, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I think this game is a mix of skill, a little bit of luck, and I think a good portion of it does have to be with what lobby you're playing in. And you guys have played Gears of War and Call of Duty and Battlefield, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Where you can walk into a spray down of bullets and come around and kill everybody there. And everybody tells you at the end, are oh, you reading shots and stuff like that? And I don't deny that I've probably ate a couple here in this gameplay. But most of the times that I kill people in this game, they deserve, they, they didn't deserve to die. They, they should have died. They should have gotten killed. But there are a couple instances, two or three instances in here that I think that I should have I should have died, but I didn't. And maybe they were missing their shots, but some of them I just don't think that they were. I think I think that I legitimately should have went down and 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 respawned, but I didn't. But um, on a separate note, I'm starting to get the hang of the wall running. The the parkour aspects of it I have found that I do much much better with the uh, 
radar than anything and that's in any game type i really do because it gives me a perception a perspective of where everybody's funneling in especially on attrition i don't know why you wouldn't play the attrition without the fucking locator uh you get to find titans you get to see where they're moving where they're you get to see your escape routes that's one thing that people don't talk to you about in this when i've been watching the youtube videos your escape routes like, um, when you activate this thing and you can see through walls, you can see which way the guys are fading around that are in a Titan. And, and uh, you take advantage of that and get the fuck out of there so they don't hit you with missiles or some shit. Uh, you, it, this thing has so many applications, and especially if you have the battery backup or whatever the hell they call it, the auto recharge where you get it a lot faster you get charged up a lot faster that's i think that's the only way to go for me the cloak really doesn't help me strictly because once you know what to look for in the cloak and where people like to hide with the cloak and the art grenade with the cloak i mean it's really i don't think it helps you out nearly as much i think that the parkour for those really badass shooters that can be on point with all their shots yes that's something that you go gonna want the added parkour but my parkour isn't great so and i'm getting better at it and i don't say that i won't use it but i'm not good enough to use it to its full extent now for right now the active rate <laughs> kill that kill that buzzard right there but uh anyways what i was talking about is that i find that the active radar pulse is the best weapon for me right now it gives me a leg up and since i play tactfully and i play uh i think i play smart uh not all the time that could that could definitely be said that i don't play smart all the time but most of the time i play pretty dog oh that was so nasty i love that kill on there but most of the time I play pretty smart in the guy. active, uh, about the that. damn active pulse. Look at that fucking beast it makes right it out there. to be a pretty good deal. Holy I was talking about shit. these damn dinosaurs. That thing come down and start <laughs> about them titans coming and picking up titans and shit like that. I think that would be pretty Would-y sweet to have pissed. them walking through the map and shit <laughs> like that. I think that would be really, really cool. But one other thing that I need to mention out. here is that your titans, when they drop, their name them. doesn't pop up immediately you have to be looking at them a specific way or you don't know whether that they're an enemy or that they're um, that they're friendly until you get their name to pop up in their hood see that guy he pops up but most of the time I find it is when the Titans drop out of the sky and they land on the ground for the first time I mean a lot of the time you can just wait back for the pilot to come and either nail him before he jumps into his titan, especially if you're dominating a map. Oh, you're going down. You can do that. But uh, you don't know whether he's, he's a friendly or not. And so I wish that the names popped up a little bit faster, whether they're friendlies or whether they're enemies. But uh, other than that, uh, there's a few, few minor things in here, but... The biggest thing is the matchmaking really sucks. It still really sucks. I don't care what the hell they said that they're doing for that beta matchmaking. I don't think it's helped the game at all because we straight up dominate these kids. And they start dropping out at the end. You'll see them start to leave. And there's no repercussions for leaving. I mean, it really doesn't hurt your score or anything. And you can pop into another match fairly quickly. If you're a single, it almost pops you into a match immediately. But uh, if you got a party or you got three or four people, and you're gonna take the full 80 to get somebody. This is where I think that I died right up here. I uh, go in here, go up the stairs, and I think this is where I died. But it says that I, I didn't, I didn't die. But I don't know. When I look at my deaths, it doesn't say that I did. But let's find out. Uh, couple shots. A couple more shots. And then this guy runs in right here, I think. Uh... Oh, shit. See, I did die. But at the end, I knew that I did. But at the end, it says zero deaths. I wonder what that shit's all about. I'm gonna have to check that out at the end. That makes me really, really curious. 
but this was a good game play. I go 10. 10 and 0. I don't count the grunts. I really don't fucking count. I was fully expecting to get my neck snapped right here. I don't know what the hell I was thinking to activate this turret. It's not like I got an achievement for what I was doing right then, but I don't get my neck snapped. I haven't been killed at a turret yet. I find that rather interesting. Why people don't plant arc mines at those enclosed ones is beyond me, but I haven't ran into an arc mine yet. Uh, planted at there. I mean you think you'd put it on the wall facing that thing and you just absolutely destroy it. But I don't know. Tell me what you think guys in the comments. I hope you liked the video and what I talked about. Thanks again for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. I think oh, I get I a Doom it. Titan right here, but oh no I didn't get him. He got yanked out. Again, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all the support that I've gotten and your views. I don't get a whole lot of views, but when I do, I do it for you guys and for the enjoyment of doing it.